Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is a super bittersweet video. Today I'm about to go film the last B-roll footage, I think, with my 2016 Pro Tune Subaru WRX. So I thought what better not to do than to show you guys how I film B-roll, take you through the entire process, and kind of give you behind the scenes as best as I can with this new camera, which let me know in the description down below whether you like this camera and whether the quality is decent, because I'm trying something new here. So let's go film some B-roll. Well, I've got to find a location and then I'll show you my entire setup and maybe you'll learn a thing or two about how to shoot B-roll on these cars, but I'll show you the entire process of setting it all up, taking it all down and finding a spot to film when the sun isn't great, which is always the worst. So even if it's just a clear parking lot, it's got to have the right lighting. So let's, uh, let's go on this adventure. I think I found a spot. Let's uh, let's hop out and check the shot and the angles and the sunlight and see what kind of exposure we have. And so it's looking pretty good. Um, I've got a little sun coming from up there, but it might backlight the shot if I shoot this way. As long as I can get no glare from the uh, sunlight. What do you guys think right now of the quality of the new camera? What are, what are your thoughts so far? I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. But let's, uh, I mean, the car's looking okay. It doesn't look too bad. Basically what I'm looking for here is glare and whether or not I need to add like an ND filter to get through glare, which I probably will have to do. Um, but I'm also looking for spots of sun popping through in the car. Uh, so I don't have to do too much post editing. You wanna make sure little things in the car are lined up when you're about to shoot. Um, I think this is good, so uh, let's get all the stuff out of the trunk. It's probably a weird angle, but uh, hopefully you guys can see me. My, uh, I forgot one of the tripods for the uh, second camera, so this will be uh, this will be a little bit of an adventure. But uh, we got to unload the gear. The best part about doing these is like people think, well, people definitely judge me. I've already had two cops drive by, so. Uh, We'll see how much attention we actually get. Okay, so I'm gonna start setting this up. Uh, I've gotta take a few thumbnail shots today too, but I think I'm gonna do those after I get the beauty shots done, just cause I wanna get the beauty shots done cause I'm not the biggest fan of actually filming them. Let's start setting them up. I'm gonna try to figure out a place to put you guys so you guys can see me. So basically what I'm using here is one, a heavy duty tripod. I usually don't bring out this tripod for normal shooting. This is the, uh, this is the more expensive, I need to be a little bit more cautious about how I'm using it tripod. That being said, it's a wonderful tripod. It's very similar. It's not a Manfrotto, but it's very similar. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, a really good rig, this or a Manfrotto would be awesome. We're going to take some slider shots. So I'm using a motorized slider. This is my motorized slider. It's going to go into here. You're not done with the motorized slider. You actually have to support it so you don't get shaking. It's a support arm one done. Well, this is hugely disappointing. I left a uh, left the cord at home. Okay, so we're back and we're setting this thing up. We're basically set up. I've got the camera mounted. Uh, I've got everything in. I went and got that cord that I was disappeared. It's connected to the controller and we're looking at the car, right? So I've got to turn the camera on. I'll show you guys a little bit, but then I got to kind of race because the sun is going down. So um, so I've got it in manual mode. I want to shoot probably at one over 60. A little, I got to probably take it to one over 80. I might drop my ISO. We're going to shoot it a little bright and then I'll bring it down in editing. Turn this bad boy on and then we do video shot, manual mode. Pretty cool, right? Super simple, let's go shoot some of this car. I'm gonna put you guys on the time lapse and uh, we'll check in after that. Time lapse complete, it's getting a little dark here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a shot here before I end the video so you guys can kind of understand what I'm doing. I've got a little bit of a bad reflection here, but. So basically the steps is, I actually ended up putting an ND filter on. So an ND filter here, I adjust it like this, and I'll let you guys see what that does. Watch the windshield as I use the ND, right? It gets blurry, and I keep turning it, and it drops it to clear, I lose the reflection. So ND filter set, I'm gonna set it into automatic focus. I'm gonna lock onto the car. I'm gonna lock my focus in. It's hard to do this with one hand. 
I ended up dropping it to one over 50, um, just for a little bit more control. I'm still shooting with 400 ISO. Drop, I up my uh, f-stop a little bit here. And then basically what I'm doing, like this is a terrible shot, but I could do something that's a little bit more interesting. I don't know, I, I dropped the angle, this is a bad shot, but I'm gonna jump over to my little, uh, to my little controller here and I'll let you guys watch the shot be taken. I'm gonna go over to the corner, I'm gonna pan. So I'm at 100% speed, because I can slow this down and this is the shot that it's filming right now. And that's how you, and you do usually do this a couple times, not with cars in the background, of course, but this is how you take uh, sliding shots that are somewhat steady. The next step is, if I can get this thing to focus, is I need to do some uh, you know, up-close shots, which I'm gonna do with this camera and this camera just to see which one's better. And they're gonna be kind of like moving shots where I kind of like adjust the camera like I'm doing right now and focus on specific aspects that I can't do with this because I don't have as much control of this with this setup uh, to get close to the car. So let's let's give that a go. Well, it got all kinds of cold, so now I'm in the car. It's not the car's not on, but it's it's substantially warmer in the car because it was super windy out. But uh, yes, yeah, so I went ahead and took the thumbnails because I couldn't feel my fingers. Still can't feel my fingers, but um, not so much of a how-to, but just kind of the process of what it looks like. I mean, the time lapse that you guys watched was probably I don't know like. 15, 20 minutes of shooting, and then I just spent like another 45 minutes, and it's gonna probably produce like meager footage, to be honest. The idea, and I know that sounds awful, but I think like if I'm ever shooting like really good footage, which I don't think I've ever put on this channel, it takes like, I could be out here for eight hours, and I would wanna go to multiple different locations, but the problem is, is although that's fun to do, it's a ton of work, and typically, well actually, 100% the payback's not there for the channel. Um, and there are other things that I want to focus on and different content. So when you're shooting cars, obviously go for the best quality, but also balance what makes sense and what's not. And if you're going to start a business, you got to really think about that. I'm not giving business advice because typically you want to shoot the best content possible. I mean, it is what it is. So that's a little bit about, that's a little bit, uh, that's kind of the process that I go through and it's kind of bittersweet. I think that's going to be the last time I do that whole shebang on this car, which is something, you know, I've done quite a lot on this car and I've kind of figured out the angles that I need to be at and where I need to shoot and how to take the thumbnails and which are still images. And, um, yeah, it's been an experience and it's bittersweet. I'm happy that I'm doing this when it's freezing out so that I am not like, oh, I could be doing this for eight hours. I really wanted to finish it. And I think that helped me kind of say goodbye to something I've been doing for a long time. And uh, not saying goodbye to the car yet, but this is definitely the last time I'm doing that whole process. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I guess, you know, my only comment here is if you want to see like a full in-depth how-to where I explain everything and I actually do like a legit shoot on a car, maybe I'll pick a car that isn't mine so that like I can explore how to figure out the right angles on a new car with you guys and I can document that. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely do it if you guys are interested in it, but I don't know if that's something that you guys are interested in. So uh, yeah, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching this short kind of montage vlog, not super specific video of me getting a little bit more B-roll done. Thanks for watching, guys.